Hello and welcome back to Sir Assist. Today I'm going to be doing some more scouting for you guys to so make sure you do stick around. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you've not signed up to Sir yet, sign up using the link below. You will get a free limited card and you'll also get to draft your fancy teams today. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and don't forget to check out SirAssist.com. You can also support this content as well now guys for just 99p by clicking that join button below. Your help is really appreciated. Okay then guys, let's get on with today's scouting. So today guys, we've got some South Korean K-League scouting for you guys. So let's see what players I've picked up from the game week 365, which was the weekend games. So the place where I've gone for is Hong jong Hyun of Daegu. Fantastic defender in the Asian division, this guy. He's only 28 as well. He's been a Dig up quite some time now and his price is looking ridiculously low at the moment if you're after a decent Asia defender. Now he's not playing for the best team though they didn't have the best season last season Dago but I'm sure they'll be hoping to improve their form this year. Now we can see some fantastic scores here for a defender that's around £40 on auction for his rare card. We see some really good scores. If we look at all his scores as well we can see a history of some really good Peak scores as well in there. So I think he's looking a really good option. Decent AA as well for all these games here taken into account. Just look over the last year. He's also got a good AA of 14.6. So he's capable of getting these high scores guys. He's got a clearance off the line here. That took over the line. He's getting some really good AA in general. As you can see a 50 in this game. A 25, 25 here. So he's looking a really good option to me guys. Especially if Diego can improve their form. And as I say, he did have a good matchup in this game week with a score of 100 in this 1-0 win for Digo in game week 365. So he's looking a really good option there, guys. So far, he's started eight games, two team of the weeks already on surface score. And he's also got an average of 25 accurate passes per game. He's getting loads of inception, guys. 1.9 per game, 2.6 tackles per game. And the clearances per game so far is absolutely amazing at 5.7. He's also near to 70% of duels won as well with 6.6 .6 on average per game. So I think Young Un is looking a really, really good option here, guys, as a defender, especially if Digo can improve their form. Next up, we've got another Digo player, and that is the Asia King himself, Cecina. Although he is actually Brazilian in terms of his nationality. Now, he is more expensive in terms of Asia players, but he's probably the best Asia player on the platform when he, his, when he is fit and is not suspended or not injured. Now, he is a forward for Digo. He's 33 now. As you can see, it looks like he's got a contract to the end of the current season. I'm sure Digo will be keen to hold on to him for the next season after that. But you never know, maybe a bigger team will snap this guy up because he is absolutely fantastic. We can see that from his score graph as well with some peak scores in most of the games that he plays. Really good AA as well for a forward. And we can also see that he scored in this 1-0 victory. He got the decisive goal here for Diego in the game week 365. Let's take a look at that goal. It was actually a penalty. <laughs> and he got the decisive three points there for Diego. And if we just look, scroll through his scores, we can see he's in now with the team, which is a shame. But when he is playing, he's generally scoring or assisting goals for his team. Now this season so far the Brazilian has started four games, he's played an average of five and he's taken corners as well for Diego as you can see. Appeared in two team of the weeks already, three goals and he's also got one assist so far in his five appearances. So he's looking absolutely brilliant. Now his goal threat's also looking good at 3.8 shots per game, 1.6 shots on target per game and his pass numbers are looking decent with 20 accurate. 20 passes accurate passes per game and also 3.2 key passes per game guys which is looking absolutely brilliant so he's definitely one to consider for your teams guys i know it's a little bit expensive shame when he is injured as well a lot of the time or out of the squad but generally he is a fantastic card to have in your team if you do know he's going to start so next up we've got another one one of my favorites actually yoon bit garam now i've had this card for quite a number of years now his rare card anyway uh, he's one of my favourite players when he is playing. He's absolutely fantastic. He does seem to have found a home now at Suwon FC. 
He is the main man there, and he's also the captain as well, I believe. He's only 32. Um, he's a midfielder for them, for Soren FC. He signed in the summer. He signed in before the start of the current season. Now, his limited is going a really cheap price in my eyes, and his rare is also looking a bargain as well. Considering that the Japanese cards are due to be released soon on so rare, so there is going to be plenty of rewards up for grabs in the Asia region. Now we can see that he's got a fantastic A, -A score here and a good decisive score as well. And we can see that he's also churning out some fantastic high scores for his, since his time at being at Soen FC. He also scored in this game that I scouted here for Soen FC in a 2-2 away draw against Itchin United. I'm sure they agree that was a fantastic goal and a fantastic move there by Suwon FC. A fantastic volley to finish it off by Young Bin Garam. But as I say, he's now at a club that is finding his um, feet again and is getting plenty of minutes. If we look at all his appearances on Surrey that we've got available on Surrey Data, filter it by the games that he started. So he was in and out of the team, his previous team. I think he was injured for a period of time during this time here. But as you can see, he's also got a history of having some fantastic scores as well. So he's capable of getting these 100 scores, guys, as well. So I think he's looking a fantastic pick in midfield for your Asia lineups. This season for Soen FC, he's started seven games, three team of the weeks already, two goals, and also one assist to his name. 1.3 shots per game as well. 42 accurate passes, which is looking good. He's also creating plenty of key passes. 2.6 per game, but he's also chipping in defensively as well with 1.3 interceptions, 2.3 tackles and 1.6 clearances per game. This guy really is the complete midfielder in the Champion Asia region. And certainly one that I recommend, as you can see, I've got his rare and limited card. He's a really, really good player to have in your Asia lineups. So next up we've got another Soen FC player and that is Marillo. He's a Brazilian like Cecina, and he plays in midfield for Suen FC. He's only 28 as well, this guy. Now, looking at his price, again, this is looking really cheap for me. I think someone recently won him as a super rare. I just saw a post on um, Twitter asking if he should keep him. I probably should have replied to that message and said, yes, I would potentially keep this guy. I'd certainly keep him if I had his super rare. Um, is certainly one to have in that cap division, the cap 240. Now, looking at his scores, we can see that he is capable of some good scores. Um, he does come on as a sub now and again, which is a shame, because as you can see, he's come on as a sub here, but he still managed to score in these two games. Sub in the most recent game as well, but in the game that I'm highlighting here, he did actually get an assist for the Bit Garam goal as well, I think, potentially. Um, in this 2-2 away draw against Itchin United. And he got a score of 79 with that assist as well. But previously, he has got some good scores when he's starting. So let's just filter this to the games where he's started. Look at all. You can see that he is getting some really good consistent scores. 60s and 70s we're looking at there. So for a cap to a 40 team, he's probably an ideal candidate, especially with some sub appearances. Don't know if that's due to the rules in Korea or not. Um, but yeah, it's certainly... I think it's probably going to be one of the main creative outlets in that Soen FC team. So should be getting plenty of minutes nevertheless. This season it started four games, appeared six times, average of 73 minutes. But he's managed three goals and also one assist as well. His shots are looking good as well. His goal threat, 2.3 shots per game, 1.2 of them are on target. His pass numbers look good as well, 30 accurate passes per game and 1.7 key passes per game as well. So again, Marillo is another good option. He's only 28 as well, so fairly young, especially for the age of division. Now we've got another Soen FC player here, and that is Lars Veldwich. Now, this three players that I've highlighted here are probably a really good stack, attacking stack for Soen FC in the Champion Asia region. Now this guy is only 31, he's got a contract until 2024 with Soen FC as well. He signed for them in July 2020, so he has been with the club for some time now. One of the main strikers for them, and he is a very tall and athletic striker as well. Looking pretty cheap here in the limiteds again, and his rare card is also looking pretty much a steal as well. 
Now, if you look at his scores, he has got some good scores in the 60s and 70 range. He's also got a couple of 90s there as well. But it has to be said, his all-around game is not that great. But he is going to be getting the plenty of goals. And when he is scoring, he is going to be getting the, these green numbers that we do like to see on so rare. He did score in this game as well against Itchin United, this goal here. So let's take a look at that goal. <laughs> Good header there, and I expect him to get a few more headers because, like I say, he is very tall. That's probably going to give him the advantage in the South Korean league. So, he's a definitely a good option there at front guards for your teams. So, this season is started three games actually. He started the last three though. He has played seven appearances in total, 79 minutes average played. Scored three and assisted three so far. Now, he did play this game against Digo. He started this game. He also started this one as well. So so he has started the last four games, in fact, guys. So it, was, it wasn't to start at the beginning of the season. I don't know if that was due to fitness or something like that. But I think he's probably the main striker for them and should continue getting those starting roles in the Suen FC squad. So it's a pretty good option up front in terms of the champion Asia forwards. So it's definitely one to keep an eye on. And let's just have a quick look at the current standings in the K-League then. So, Ulsan Hyundai find themselves top at the moment. They're really on form at the moment. Won 7, drew 1, lost 1. Pohang Steelers are behind them. And Dijan Hanna are actually third at the moment, which I think is probably a little bit of a surprise. Near the bottom of the table, we've got some Blue Wings who have started really badly. You're Zero wins, two draws and seven losses. So they're rock bottom at the table at the minute. Then we've got Gangwon and Ichi United who are currently near the bottom. Of course, they've got Shinjin Ho, the sand at the start of the season. So I was expecting them to do a little bit better. Um, and the mid-table, we've got teams like Soren FC, Jeju and Diego United as well. But it looks like Ulsan have really set the pace early on in this K-League campaign. So that was all the picks this week, guys, on this scouting video from the K-League. I will be doing more videos like this for every single league on Sir Ray now going forward, including the video highlights that you saw in this video today. If you like this new format, do let me know. Smash the like button. And uh, thanks for watching, as always. And I'll see you again on the next video.